Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I wanna to share a new bracelet design with you featuring Cinderella. So this design also uses two charms that I purchased earlier this year, as I'm still trying to update you with all of my recent purchases. So before we take a look at this bracelet, I thought I would also share with you the charms that Pandora currently has available online for Cinderella. And excuse the iPad screen here, but you can see we've got nine results for Cinderella. The first one is a charm that I did recently purchase from Christine Jewelers. The next one is a Cinderella Blue Star Pendant. And I saw that one in the store, but I'm not quite sure how it relates to Cinderella. Other than the back of the pendant has a pumpkin coach detail, so I'm not sure if this charm really falls under the Cinderella category as much, but I do have some charms on my bracelet design that kind of is similar to this one. And then to scroll along, we've got the Disney pumpkin coach bracelet. Look how expensive that is in Canada, $160, like ouch. And then to move down, we've got the um, Disney 100 carriage. There's the tiara ring, the earrings. And then next we have the sparkling carriage in rose gold and the necklace and then Gus there. That little dangle for $90 I think is way overpriced, but he is sold out. So not everybody agrees with me. And I think I should quickly mention that the silver version of the sparkling carriage is retired and maybe it's supposed to be replaced by the Disney 100, but that doesn't quite make sense either. But these are all of the items that we currently have for Cinderella, so there isn't a lot of selection right now. And here is a quick overview of my bracelet design. So I will actually try this on for you at the end of this video so you can see how it looks on my wrist. But as you can see, I was trying to stick with some two-tone charms mixed in with some blue. And the first charm that I included on here, but first I should mention that I'm using just the Pandora Heart Clasp and no CZs on this one. This first charm is called Cinderella's Wish, and to me, it's a little bit like that pendant where it can be versatile to so many other designs. The only thing that really makes us look like a Cinderella charm is the shade of that blue CZ in the center. This is a blingy charm. Look at all the sparkle that this charm has. And I'll also do my best to quickly show the hallmarks with you. So you've got the Disney on the one side and then the Pandora with, on the other. So I believe there is a total of three of the blue CZs on this one. And I put it at the end of this bracelet to cover up the threads because it is an open work. The next charm is not a Disney charm, but I thought it kind of suited the theme. I was looking for a dangle and this little party dress. I think it's such a cute little charm. I thought it would suit the Cinderella theme because so much of that movie was about her dress. And looking at this charm, I really appreciate the bail on it. It's just kind of a series of bubbles. And you can see the dress is a little bit different on both sides. It's got some little polka dots on there. So there's the front and it has a little belt. And the back is very similar. Um, it just is missing that heart detail on the little belt there, but some polka dots at the bottom as well. This charm here is definitely a Cinderella charm. Look at the blue CZ stars there, it's so pretty. It, this one is called Cinderella's Dream. And again, it's that exact same shade of blue that's in the Wish here. And it has a really nice inscription at the back and it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And there is the hallmark right there. And then next for a little pop of color, I've got a little blue petite facet. These were really nice charms when Pandora had them in a variety of colors. And they're not super large as you can see, and they just kind of add that little bit of color. And it's the exact same shade of blue. And then I have Cinderella's sparkling slipper. And this one also has some blue CZs that go all the way around on her shoe. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a little bow on top of the shoe. And I just think it's a really nice detailed slipper charm. There is an updated version of this one that has Gus, and I can't remember if it's shock, and they're inside this, the shoe looking like they're having some fun. 
I don't have that version as I didn't want to have two shoe charms in my collection. And this one here, the Hallmark's only on the one side right there. And for a clip, I decided to use the Dainty Bow Clip. I only have one of these in my collection and I'm okay with that. I like the round shape and it's got a little bit of CZs at the top and it repeats on both sides. And I just thought it suited nicely to go into this bracelet. And then my first of the two-tone charms on here, this one here is the Happily Ever After Castle. And so it does have a gold crown at the bottom and that CZ looks to be a little bit pinkish in the middle. This one here is a polishing nightmare. So if this charm gets oxidized, I kind of let it go a little bit and just kind of polish the outer parts because to get into all of those little nooks and crannies and grooves is so difficult with a polishing cloth. Um, you've got the little flags there at the front and the back of the charm is different uh, for the door detail. You can see the door at the back is different than the front. And then here is Cinderella. So I was very fortunate to get this one on sale at Christine Jewelers. And it looks like the dress has a bit of an ombre effect. I don't know if it's mine because Pandora's enamel does change a little bit charm to charm. So mine has like a darker blue on top, a little bit lighter at the bottom. And then she does have a little blue headband. Of course, I've mentioned it before, but I wish this charm had oxidized eyes, not just the outline detail. I think that would have made all the difference for this charm. And then there is her little feet. And there is the back of the charm with the hallmark there. And then this dangle. Okay, so out of all of my Pandora charms, I have to say that this Cinderella dangle, um, I believe it's called Cinderella Magical Moment, is the most uncomfortable charm that I have in my collection. I can't think of one that actually pokes me as much as this one. And it's mostly the bail. So these little raised dots, they're actually quite sharp. Um, especially because it has the CZs, so the little claws on the CZs right there. I find this charm to be super uncomfortable and it's very pokey. So not only just the bail, but also this little rim of blue CZs that are going around her dress. And these CZs are supposed to kind of mimic the magical moment when her dress transforms. And um, it's very pretty, it's very well done design. It's very detailed for how small this charm is, but the CZs do make it also a little bit rough. Like it's, yeah, it's not a smooth charm and it does catch a little bit. Like as I'm touching this, I can kind of feel that it's not, yeah, it's just not a comfortable charm. <laughs> pretty though. Um, and then we have this first Cinderella's carriage and I've shared with you in my two-tone collection series this charm right here and I really like the wheel detail on it the little heart that stands out for the opening of the door and then the gold crown on top and then you've got two little hearts at the bottom Pandora did a really nice job designing this one and you've got the Disney on one side and the Hallmark on the other um, to kind of match the round dainty bow, I decided to use a star clip right here. I thought they would be different but similar and I like that. And then this here is not a Cinderella charm but it's the dangling castle and it is a two-tone. So you can see on the bail you've got a little gold heart and then you also have a little gold Pandora O symbol in the center of that castle. And I was a little put off by this castle because it hangs at a little bit of an angle. Do you see what I mean like that? And I thought that was a little bit odd when I first saw this castle, but now that I own it and I've been wearing it on this bracelet design, it does hang properly because it kind of rests against your wrist and you don't notice that kind of, I don't know, it's a little askew, but you don't notice it once it's on your wrist. 
This uh, Blue Murano here is the Ice Drops and it's such a pretty color. It's like a watery, very faint blue glass and it's got some blue CZ crystals inside. I only have one of this Murano and I believe I found it pre-loved. And so I have it offset with the petite facet on this side and I'm happy with that. I used to be so concerned about symmetry and being matching but I'm really letting that go and I'm kind of enjoying the freedom not having so many rules when I do my designs and then over here this little button charm is so sweet you've got the pumpkin coach and all that swirl detail around the rim of the charm and then you've got the stars and the other side is a clock and they actually have the Roman numerals for the time on the clock and as you can see it's about to strike midnight but do you see the little mouse there it took me the longest time to notice him how he's looking up at the clock this next little dangle is the mother and baby bird dangle and it has kind of like different colors of cz's as it goes around it goes from like really pale pink to a purple at the bottom and then it even has a little silver flower and what's really sweet about this charm is to see like the mother bird and baby bird from the front but from the back you can see their little tail feathers so i thought that was a nice little extra detail that it wasn't totally flat at the back and i decided to put this dangle on here to just represent all of the birds in the cinderella movie and in the story um, there's quite a bit of birds that help her and i thought that was a nice detail and there is a little heart on the bail and then at the very end, I've got a CZ silicone line clip because this little um, charm right here, I think it would just slip right off. I don't think it's threaded. So this is my Cinderella bracelet design. I initially had a design that had both um, Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast Belle together on one bracelet, but I wasn't so comfortable with having all of the multiple colors and so i decided to split them up into their own design so this is my cinderella one and i do like having it just being that light bright blue and also having some two tones i am hoping to make it a little bit more two-tone i'm not quite sure how to do that if i need to find little two-tone gold spacers on here because there isn't a lot of two-tone charms i think that work with cinderella but i will be kind of tweaking it along the way because i do want to add in those little touches of gold so let me put this bracelet on my wrist and i will share with you how it looks and again this is one of those designs that just feels right when you're wearing it and I kept this Cinderella dangle on top just because I didn't want it on the sides of my wrist or underneath and I didn't want to press up against the pokey bale. So having this um, charm at the top, it's a little more comfortable to wear. So here's the little castle dangle. So I just wanted to share with you how it looks when you're wearing the charm. So as you can see, it doesn't look as awkward once you're wearing it as it does if you were just kind of having it on a charm bar. But this is a really nice, comfortable design. It feels good. I will be making some more changes to it because I do want to add in some more two-tone touches, like I mentioned. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing my new Cinderella bracelet design. And I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.